uh, primarily here in the United States, the lifestyle and consumption behavior of yogurt consumers uh, contrasts a lot differently than those that do not consume yogurt. I think we're finding that yogurt may be pivotal for what defines a healthy diet. So those who tend to consume yogurt in the United States also tend to have more fruit and vegetable consumption, eat leaner proteins, uh, the list goes on and on. Uh, so yogurt is perceived by those that do consume it and even those that don't consume it as being a healthy food. The United States Department of Agriculture has come up with something called the MyPlate, which is an icon for the dietary guidelines for Americans, which is recommending three cups of yogurt a day or dairy products. But what we see in the United States is that the amounts that yogurt are sold in are typically not a eight ounce uh, package. Actually, we see a trend more of a small size. So especially with men that I work with in my practice, often complain that it's not a substantial amount of yogurt. Uh, but even if we were selling it in the appropriate quantities for men, we still see a significant decrease in consumption. So what we're seeing is that yogurt consumption for the United States is winding up being less than one cup per week compared to our European friends who are consuming about one cup per day. I found that the United States Department of Agriculture has something called a reference database. And when they were linking the different foods for their nutrient density, dairy products were very prevalent in that. So in five of 33 categories, yogurt actually scored in the top seven categories for pantothenic acid, for calcium, for phosphorus, for iodine, and the list goes on. But there's also other health benefits. We know that there's digestive benefits because of the friendly bacteria.